Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Teresa and this is Kelly Life on the Fly. I want to thank everybody for being here and watching and just know that I have got a Dollar Tree, but this was not one visit. This was multiple visits and um, just didn't want to miss things and needed some things, stuff like that. So, you know, if I needed it right away, it won't be in this haul. So anyway, I picked up a couple of clips. This was the most recent trip I went to because uh, it's getting hot around here. It was like 104 the other day and I really need to keep my hair up and I don't like to put it up in a ponytail all the time. So this I can just wrap up and clip and we're done. So quick and easy. Like I said, it's getting hot. So I picked up some of these water pistols for the kids to have some fun with, right? And of course, I've got three kids and, you know, i got to defend myself somehow. Yeah, can't just arm the kids because they will get you if you are unarmed. Okay, I found some more of the um, iron-on art, right? And I found the gold blessed that you would iron on, right? So I got one for me and one for Ember. And then I found the Silver Faith. So, of course, I got one for me and one for Ember because Travis is not wearing something that is glittery. Oh, I guess I got three faiths. So, may have to find somebody else or stick it in a goodie bag for somebody. I ain't getting that back in here for this to come out. Okay. I found some of these, they're Crafter Squares decorative stickers, and they have them like on your phone, on your tablet, on a, um, like a, a laptop and stuff, but I got this one, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read them. It says, coffee time, focus on the good, remember why you started, and you matter. Well, I also found it in Shine Bright, right? Uh, soul Full of Sunshine, Be Kind, right? And it, it has one where it's on, the, uh, on a cell phone. And then I found it in this other one, and it says, Dare to be different. You got this. The time is now. Do it for you. And it's all in these blue and yellow fonts, right? And they show it on the on a tablet, you know, writing tablet and stuff. But you could put them on anything, you know what I'm saying? But I had never seen these before, so they were new to me, right? Okay. I told you that Ember had um, a float to do. Her state was Nevada. So I picked up some paper pads for us to make some color into her little um, 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 float. I found some ribbon. And it's red, white, and blue ribbon. And it looks like this. Right? And, of course, you get three yards in each one. So, I just thought those would be really good. I was thinking about making a, a red, white, and blue rib or a wreath for my door. So, all right. Everybody knows about the little planters, right? I'm finding like one here, one there, one in this series, one in that series. But I did find the zebra, right? Uh, Zena, the zebra, right? And I found... Duncan the dog and I'm I collect these I I got an owl too um so <sighs> I don't know if these are different colors but there's more of that I don't know if I was just planning on making a big wreath or not but okay I've been getting these small um kid kits it's a DIY kit. It's a charm bracelet. It makes three bracelets, and it looks like this. And I've gotten these in the kids' sections, and they are great for Ember, right? And but I've also been buying a fam or a coworker's little girl 
these right here because she is Ember's same age and it's something to do. So I got this one for Ember and I got her this one. And this one makes one bracelet and one necklace, but it still has the, um, the sunflower. I just like this one kind of does, right? So, and you know, if you're going to a birthday party or if your daughter's going to a girl's birthday party, these, right, in a gift basket, right, for instance, is great to have on hand. So, even if Ember doesn't want to do them, because I just picked them up, I didn't ask her. It, it's something to do in, or have if you have to go on a birthday party. Because most of the time, you know, I find out like the day before, you know. So, okay. Vinyl. Uh, Dollar Tree has been getting the big vinyls, but I did find some little ones, right? Um, but I also found these permanent writable white stickers. Right? There is 48 inches, but it is a five by five. And I was like, uh, don't know what I would do with it, but I bought three boxes because I didn't want to be left out. I know, I'm a bit afraid I'm going to be left out. I did find the new raw bead, you know, um, crafter square beads. Yeah, there's um, 125 in here. Most of them are going to be the small ones, but they are raw beads. You can do whatever you would like to with them or leave them like this, right? So I ended up with three bags of them because, yeah, my store never gets anything new. So I picked them up. I picked up some just of these. It says pump spray bottles there's two in a bag so I bought two of them because I had something in mind and from then until now it has obviously left my brain but I'm sure it will come back in okay I found these text stickers there's 25 of them in there and Amber liked them and stuff so I bought them don't ask me what the difference between text stickers and regular stickers are because I'm oh, sorry I don't know but she thought they, you know, she thought she would want to use them and put them on stuff. So I was like, okay. All right. I also found the dark colored beads. And they are 0.66 inches or a 17 millimeter. You get 15 in each one. And I thought, yes, Dollar Tree. Yeah. What are you doing? I haven't seen these before. And they also had them in the oval shaped bead. And what does it say? It is a 23 millimeter, 0 0.09 inch. So, and you get 30 in here. So, yeah, I got me one. Okay, just some resellable bags. There's 20 in a thing. I know this is coming out after I got to the 99 cent store. And yeah, these are three inches or four inches by three inches. So they're bigger than the smallest ones and smaller than the biggest ones I got at the 99 cent store. So it still works, still works. Okay, never seen it before. And I thought I have always wanted to learn how to do this. So these are for me, not Ember, because I didn't get two of them. So if I find any more, I'll get her one. But it's these, um, rainbow macrame kit this is the rainbow one it has everything in here for you to make this and to learn right and then i got this one which is this um the mini um macrame wall decor kit so i figured if i got them and i can't do them then it's only $1.25 and i can throw it in the trash no one knows the difference except for you probably want to see me make it and see my mess okay never claimed to be you know a professional I I seen these and the first thing I thought of was when I done Ember's float and stuff we did some some modeling play which I do believe I got from Walmart but this is it right here right got it from Walmart 
air dry, don't know oven stuff, but I could have used these to help mold it. And that's what I pretty much got them for. But what they are is they are cake decorating tool set. But I could have used these to help mold that clay. So I <laughs> went ahead and got two sets just in case I want to use one for cakes and one for, for clay. Okay. Don't ask me why. I saw this and I thought, what? And then I realized what it was for. So yeah, had a little bit of a blonde moment. But I picked these up, and they are chilling section stones, right? And they really are a metal ball with a suction cup on it, right? You freeze this, put it in your freezer, and here comes the uh, moment for me. You put this in the bottom of your glass of wine or whiskey or something and it chills it Teresa don't drink wine or whiskey or anything so I don't know why I got two <laughs> I was thinking wouldn't that metal make your soda or your tea taste funny but if it's alcohol it wouldn't so but I've got two so you know, it is what it is, and um, maybe I can find something to do with them. I don't know. But I will sure try. I will sure try. Okay. I've got more, guys. I've got more. I'm just trying to make room here, which I'm going to have to repack this bag because this bag was, like, organized packed. So... And I don't have it organized packed. I just have it shoved in there. And not all of it because there's still some in my lap. Um, hang on. Let me see. I, don't, I won't have room. Okay. I saw somebody else haul these and I thought, okay. First I thought they were embroidery hoops and they're not. They are bamboo rings, and they are just rings, and you get two kinds, two sizes, right? They are not together. They are separate, right? And I thought, okay, Teresa, challenge yourself. What can you do with this? Or actually, when he was showing it, because I was watching uh, the DIY guy, um, great guy. If you haven't seen him, look him up, the, the DIY guy. He's a really good let him know I sent you over. He doesn't know me. All right. But um, I'm going to challenge myself. I want to see what I can come up with. So I made sure I was covered and I got two sets. So, because I'm going to see if I can make something with those. Right? This is old, but I do have my scarves. Okay. Here is the small, um, I told you I found the permanent, um, paper for the, the, like the Circuit Joy or the Cricket Joy or whatever, not Circuit Joy, Cricket Joy. That's what I found. This is the white glitter. I found the, I think it's black. It might be black glitter. And now it's on the floor. So we'll see if we can do about getting it up here. Okay. Um, you get 48 inches and it's four by five. And it doesn't say, I think it's got a little bit of glitter to it. Might, maybe it is glitter. And then this one that keeps wanting to come open for some reason is the um, flower one, right? So I've got the flower one. The black one and the white glitter one. That's what I got. And those are the only three I've found. If you guys have seen anything different than this, please let me know because I haven't seen any of it. So I went into the section that is on the shore living, right? And I found 
finished um, whale pins that are unfinished. I like those. I got more from that section, right? I got the boats, right? I got the unfinished fish. And the finished starfish. And I think that's it. No, I got the seahorses, right? These are finished and those are not finished. So that was kind of cool. I like this, right? Some that are finished and some that are not finished is really cool. Okay. I also found... The tiles. Uh, the letter tiles. I found it in the black and white. They look like the um, um, Scrabble pieces. Found the black and white, and I know I have two of these that are just the regular ones, right? So I picked up both of those, right? And um, I picked up two of the fishing net decor because I wanted to do something in the bathroom with this. So and then I found these, and I thought they were really cool. They are floral garden, and they're vase fillers. But I'm going to try not to use them in vase fillers, right? But look at these. Aren't those pretty? And they're not halves. They are more full, like full-on diamond. They've got the pointy on one end and the flat surface on the other, just like a diamond and a diamond ring would be. But I thought those were really pretty. So I end up getting two. They don't go by count. They go by grams. So there's like 20 grams. So, and then I've been picking up vinyl. And this is, the reason I've been doing this is because it's that faux leather type one, right? This is the blue. I got it in white, right? I got it in black. I think that's blue, actually. And then I got it in this color brown, right? So I've been picking it up because, guys, this is awesome to cover a journal with or a thing. I, I did do a Father's Day gift for uh, Ember to give to her papa. So I have a piece of it right here that is that brown and this is what it is right so this does not have to go through a cricket or anything you can use this as a cover right um you know i just spray painted or sprayed this with some um spray on glue right put it down mashed it down pressed it down till it was done folded it over and did it on the other side right so it makes for a really good cover, and this is really nice. I mean, I got this in white, black, blue, and this color. And um, like I said, not all at the same time, but I got two or three of each kind so that I would be able to um, um, do some more of those when I needed to. But it is the... Um, the leather one right up here see it and they are nice this is the blue so the blue one was the hardest one to find everybody had the um, the black and white um, I found the brown the blue was hard to find. I didn't even know the blue was out there so and the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was what I um, kind of decorated Ember's uh, phone case with was these it comes with the glue right and she wanted a fancy girly cover and it was just black so 
I kind of dressed it up with one of these, a pock socket. So she is happy with her phone case now. So her phone case, my phone case. So she, you know, she just uses mine. So anyway, that is all I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, I got these from Dollar, a uh, family dollar. And I'm sorry I did. I already opened the cow, right? And it's these. Here's the little piggy. He's cute and all. He is a chirping animal. He will make pig sounds. Once you um, pull off the little tag, right? He'll make it all the way up until he dies. Till the little batteries inside die because there's not an off and on switch on these babies. Just pull the switch and let it go. Then every time something moves in front of it, it makes a sound. The cow drove me crazy after about four days, right? But it taught Bubba how to say cow, moo, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I got a pig. I got a frog. And they were a dollar from Family Dollar. I got a chicken. And I got an owl. These have been in the package because the cow drove me batty. So, haven't been wanting to open them up. Plus, I was waiting for the cow to kind of do its thing. So, you know, didn't want to overdo it. Anyway, guys, that is my Dollar Tree. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Wait a minute. I forgot. I went painting at the church. Travis and I did. We made, uh, I guess, an early Mother's Day gift. Um, but um, I still have mine because, well, my mother doesn't want my, uh, my painting. So I'm going to keep them myself. So um, afterwards, Ember asked if she could make one. So I went and got... Some of these, the thin um, canvases, right, for her to make. And I got three of them so that I could show her on one. Travis could make another one if he wanted to. And then Ember's one. And in doing so, I picked up, because my stuff is in storage, I picked up brushes. And this is the huge one. With the itty bitty tiny one uh, that goes from the biggest brush they have to the smallest, <clears throat> sorry, smallest brush they have. So I also picked up the three medium sized ones, the angle brush and stuff like that. So I picked up a set for each one of us to use, right? And then to do the thing, I picked up. Um, the washable paint, right? And it's just in these little jugs. And I got the white or cream color. I got red. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess that is cream color. And that's white. I got black, blue, purple, yellow, brown so she just wanted to you know be able to do the same thing because she couldn't go to the class because it was um 12 years old and up she's only 11 um so she couldn't go to that one so she uh went to wanted to do it at home she knew we could remember so like I said, I think she just wants to paint, which is fine with me, right? So, but we have another one to go to June 27th. We are making a uh, patriotic gnome. Yeah, my pastor uh, is really good at giving directions and you following her and putting your spin on everything. 
it's great. It really is. I have been, um, I take a class from her every time she offers one. Um, it's like $15 and it includes all your paints. Um, she, you know, they, you use their paint brushes, so you don't need to have anything to go to these classes. Just show up. But anyway, guys, this is getting humongously long. I want to get it up to you guys. So please remember to keep your chin up. Think outside your box and help where you can. A little bit goes a long ways. From my family to yours, we want to send you our hugs, our loves, and our prayers. Take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.